This diagram shows the frontal and side view of the male reproductive system. The two male testes are found in a bag of skin called the scrotum. As the testes are located outside of the body, this keeps them cooler at approximately 2 degrees below the body's temperature, which is important for sperm production. The testes have two important functions for males, making the sex hormone, which is testosterone, and producing male gametes, called the sperm cells. As well as sperm production, testosterone is important for the development of the secondary sexual characteristics in men, which include their voice breaking, their body becoming more muscular, underarm hair growth, pubic hair growth, and testes starting to produce sperm cells. From the testes, the sperm will make their way towards the penis via the sperm duct. It is here where they mix with fluids produced by the seminal vesicle and the prostate, which contain nutrients that the sperm need. Once the sperm is mixed with these nutrients, it is referred to as semen. Semen moves into the urethra, which is found inside the penis. The penis has two main functions, to pass out urine and to pass out semen. Let's take a look at a male gamete. The sperm cells are produced in boys when they reach puberty. Unlike females, which are born with a fixed number of eggs, men continuously produce sperm at an approximate rate of 1,500 per second. At the top of the sperm, in the head, the sperm contains the acrosome, which has digestive enzymes to help penetrate the egg. It also has a haploid nucleus, containing half the number of chromosomes as a normal cell. The midpiece contains mitochondria which provide energy to help the sperm swim. Finally, the tail helps the sperm to swim towards the egg to fertilize it. Hi, my name is Mr. Science, aka Salim. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. And for more teaching resources, you can visit my website at www.mrscience.co.uk.